Hello, welcome to the Happy Hippie Intuitive and to today's reading, which is going to be about love, relationships, soulmates and partnerships. So in a minute, I will explain what you have to choose from, but I would like you to remind you that these are timeless readings. So whenever you find it, it was meant for you and you must take what resonates and leave the rest as always. If you like my readings, please give that thumbs up to help me with the algorithms on YouTube and click that subscribe button if you haven't. Now, I will always list my cards below so you can find them if there's any of the cards I use that you like. And I also put timestamps so you can quick and easy find the reading that was meant for you. Now, let's get into it. So today you have three piles to choose from, pile number one, two and three, with three different crystals on it. Now, crystal, uh, this is the quartz crystal, clear quartz. This is the smoky quartz crystal. And this is the rose quartz crystal. So pause the video if you need to. Use your intuition. Ask your angels and guides to help you to choose pile number one, two, or three to direct you to the reading that was meant for you. And I will be back in a moment to start with pile number one. Okay, I'll remove now pile number three and two, so we can start with pile number one. <clears throat> okay, number one, so if you chose this clear quartz crystal, then this is the reading for you. Okay, so clear quartz for me, of course, it corresponds to all the chakras and also your aura. It is an all-round crystal that can be used for many things. It is a crystal for clarity, it's a crystal for contact with the universe and the divine, and it is a healing crystal for me. Uh, clear quartz is a very well-known crystal, I believe, and many people use it for many different things, but that's at least the crystal meanings for me, okay? So I'll put it over here, so be part of your reading. And today I have chosen just one card as your theme card for the reading, for your love reading or relationship reading, and then we will pull some additional cards from the different decks uh, as we go along. But let's look at your card, first card here, which is... The Healing Temple, Restoration, Cure, and Safety. Okay, so we'll put that up here. And then I'm going to start with some tarot cards. Okay, so I'll just shuffle them as we go along. And I will choose three cards. Wait, that will be part of your reading. And then we will look at the other cards. Let's see what you get. So, Seven of Cups, Nine of Coins, Knight of Cups, underneath the deck, Eight of Cups. Okay, so what this tells me, the Eight of Cups is of course something that you leave behind, that you walk away from something, but the Seven of Cups is choices, it's about focus, it's possibilities. Nine of Coins is about personal happiness. And the Knight of Cups is something being offered to you. So I'm going to look into the other cards as well here. The Romance cards, first of all. See what you get there. Oops. Okay, so let's pull a Romance card. I would like to pull two of these cards to see what we get. Okay, so on the romance card, you have you deserve love, you are lovable, and the second card is new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, interesting. So, and then I would like to pull a couple of cards from this love story oracle. Let's see what you get there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got support and trust. Okay, now let's look at all these cards together. It's trust 
and support. So these two cards together tell me that you might have been given up on love or you might have had a down period and you are longing for something new or you're longing for a renewal in the current relationship and you might have had some trust issues here as well and looking for support in that partner if you are already in a relationship. If you are not in a current relationship, I would say that you are looking for support, maybe from family and friends, when it comes to your love life, and that you have had some trust issues before, or that you have some trust issues that you might need to work through before you can move into a relationship, is what I feel with those two, okay? Because we also have this one, which is called Restoration, Cure, Safety, and Healing. So with that, together with the trust and the support here, it tells me that there might be something within you that needs some healing before you can move thoroughly into a new relationship or um, starting to trust someone 100% if you are currently already in a relationship, Okay. So, but what they're also saying here is that you have some possibilities coming to you here. Um, but what are you focusing on? Where is your focus? Where is your goal? Where is your vision regarding this? And also with the nine of coins, which is the card of being happy, actually, of being content, of being what you would call content in your own skin, you know, happy in your own skin. And also the Knight of Cups, which is an offer coming to you. I have a feeling that you are not a person who is, uh, you know, not having any offers on the table. I feel like there are people that would like to, um, you know, make a romantic relationship with you or a partnership with you in some way, shape or form or start a relationship with you. But there has been something that you need to walk away from, okay? And I have a feeling that that might be your own emotional stuff. You moan, you can be trauma, it can be ego stuff, you know, it can be many different things. But there is something that you need to walk away from is what I feel here, okay? And of course, you say here that you are lovable, you are deserving of love and new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And that's also what I feel with this Knight of Cups, that there is, has been an offer coming to you but I have a feeling that you've been reluctant, okay? And this is, of course, for, for those of you who are, who are currently not in a relationship, that there has been something new offered to you, but you have not been receiving it, okay? And I have a feeling that it has something to do with it, something in you that you need to walk away from, maybe feel through first before you can move into the new. And if you are in a relationship already, I would say that it's about, it's about a renewal of something or is there something that has been new that has been offered to you within the relationship that you have trouble accepting for some reason. Maybe that you are in doubt that you are lovable since it also com comes with this card that you deserve love. Maybe you feel like you are a person that are uh, difficult to live with or that you have too many demands or something like that. And then you are not sure that you deserve what is being offered to you. But you need to, to work on those uh, feelings and, and do the inner healing here because the offer will come no matter what is what I feel here. And you have these many different options. So I do have a feeling that the issues of trust and support are big in your life, okay? Most definitely. And so so I don't know what it is that you have inside of you that needs some desperate healing here, but I I think that you need to set aside some time to go inwards and see if there are some wounds within you that can be looked at now. Maybe they're ready to be released now so that you can actually move into this new and accept this offer that has been coming to you, okay? So I want to draw some other small cards, which is called Sans Souci. They're not really love cards, but they can say something maybe about the situation that you are in and give some advice moving forward, you know? So let's see here. Pull one of those. Okay. So summer magic is what it says here. And summer magic. Okay. So there might be something that will be resolved in the summer vacation or during summer. 
or in the next holiday. But what this card is also saying is to be playful, not take yourself so seriously, to come out of your shell a little bit is what I feel here. So yes, feel through whatever you need to feel through if there's something here that you need to leave behind you or need to release. But then I feel like balance that with joy, with, with uh, trying to see the things from a positive perspective. Look at the things that you do have that's working, okay? And they're encouraging you to stay more outside, I see here. And it's not just love relationship. This can also be friendship because I, I, I see with this card friends playing outside in nature. So this might be a partnership or a friendship as well or a family member. Let's pull one more card here. Yeah, so are you see, you need to focus on what's underneath here, is what they say. And that's why this card of um, Eight of Cups has come as well, is that you need to look at what it is, you know, that needs to be released now. So that you can focus on the joy on, this, uh, on the outside that's coming to you. See? So it kind of connects all the dots here for me with, uh, with this reading, most definitely. I would like also to pull some cards called Chakra Love that might also uh, be an indication of healing that you might need. So it might give you some advice as to what you can do. Oh, there was one that just popped out. Let's look at that. Intuition. Intuition is the little tug that pulls you towards your light. Third eye chakra. Amethyst. Okay, so... It might be something that you already know about this situation here, that you're into in, in your gut, you already know what this is. And so it's a matter of just kind of giving energy and contact into whatever that is. And when they pull out this one with the third eye chakra and the amethyst, I would also encourage you, if you have crystal amethyst, to use it. Or maybe you should pur purchase one, because um, amethyst can help you with this issue, is what they're trying to say here, Okay. So, so that's fun. Okay, put that down here. See, we can pull one more of those. Oh, forgiveness. You'll find freedom and forgiveness. Heart chakra, malachite. Okay, so malachite also the green, uh, the green stone of malachite can also help you. It's a very uh, heart healing crystal, and I do have a feeling that this might go together with this card right here, where there's something you need to let go of now maybe you have some resentment for someone who has hurt you in the past and it might have been difficult for you to let go but as I said I think you need to feel these things through now so you can let them go once and for all you know and move forward so that you can actually accept this offer that's coming to you because these are very positive cards actually uh, when I look at the tarot cards here, there is, I mean, this card of personal fulfillment and this card of possibilities and options tells me that you have a, a lot coming to you, a lot of love and friendship and, um, yeah, a, a, a lot of offers coming to you, a lot of possibilities. So, so it's not a matter of you not being able to find uh, true love or to find the divine or the good in the relationship that you currently have or want to have. It's a matter of you working on whatever this is that has been holding you back, okay? Because there's something new that wants to come in, most definitely. And remember that you deserve love. You deserve all good things coming to you, you know? And remember that playfulness, when we are in that playful mode, when we don't take ourselves too seriously, that's when we are in the flow. And that's also when you kind of are in that energy, then that's the energy you're sending out. And that's, of course, then the energy you're going to get back. Okay. So once you have released this, then, then I encourage you to try and play and try and enjoy and try and not take things so seriously. And that might be uh, the way for you moving forward. Okay. Yep, well, that's pretty much what I have for you, number one. I hope this made sense. If you like my reading, please hit that like button, thumbs up. So that will help me uh, with the algorithms on YouTube. And I wish you the very best moving forward. I hope that you will find your way moving through whatever this is that you need to move through. And uh, I wish you the very best. And until the next time, I see you. Bye. So we will just remove...
these cards that was here. So we can move over to the next reading. And that is number two. And that was the smoky crystal. There. Okay, number two. So if you chose this smoky crystal, then this is a reading for you. Now, smoky quartz crystal is a grounding crystal. It is um, connected to the root chakra and also to the earth chakra. It is, uh, for me personally, I have felt like it is a huge healing crystal for me, especially with wounds from the past or wounds regarding your ground pillars in life, okay? So, you know, people have different meanings and different feelings with crystals, but that's what it means for me at least, okay? So I'll put it over here for you so it'll be part of your reading. And now we'll look at your main theme of this reading, and then we will pull some cards from the different decks afterwards. So let's look at your card. The path of the gods, decisions, meeting future plans meetings meetings and future plans okay the path of the gods okay we'll put that up here and then i'm going to start by pulling some tarot cards first let's see what you get i have shuffled these already but shuffle them a little bit on camera and then we'll pull three cards for you regarding your love relationships soulmate partnership friends Whatever this means for you, okay? So, let's see, you got, oh, Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. And Three of Coins. No, Three of Cups. Three of Cups, I'm sorry. Okay, that is good cards. Okay, so let's look at the bottom of the deck. Then it was Six of Cups. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. I will also look at the other cards here. Let's pull some romantic cards here and see what they say. Okay. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so that's what you got from that deck. Interesting. Okay. I want to pull all the cards before we go into the reading in depth. So I want to pull a couple cards from these as well. Now this is a love story oracle. I have also shuffled all of these before. So let's pull a couple of cards from here. Control. Codependency. Ooh, okay, so those two cards kind of make sense together. I see. Yeah. Okay, now let me sink into the different cards here to see what they are trying to tell us, okay? Okay. So what I feel, first of all, the first card that I'm noticing in this reading is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is past. It is childhood. It is. It can also be the card of melancholy, okay? And when I see that card together with control and codependency, I have a feeling that you might have had some negative experiences when it comes to relationships in the past, whether it be love, friendship, uh, you know, partnership. So you must take this where it resonates, right? But these cards together tell me that you have some bad experience in this field and you might have problems trusting and you might have problems believing in a relationship that is profound. You might be a person that would rather have kind of relationships a little bit more on the surface not too much in the depth because this card of decisions meetings and future plans comes up I have a feeling that you might be afraid to 
you know, uh, plan for the long haul, plan for the long future, that you might be a person that is more of a let's just have fun right now kind of thing because you have been hurt before. So that might be significant for some of you. I'm not saying this is significant for all of you, but that might be significant for some of you, okay? So you also got the Ace of Cups, which is the emotions runs over, okay? And that might be that you are deep down very emotional and very vulnerable and that you you know, that you, you kind of have the, the emotions on your sleeve, you know, that, that, that you show your emotions quite easy. And so you might be holding back because you're afraid to show your vulnerability is one thing that is coming to me. So that might be significant for some of you, okay? But Ace of Cups is also abundance coming to you. So you kind of have to take this as it resonates, okay? Now, you also have the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is someone who is seeking better shores, someone who is leaving something behind and seeking something better. And the three of cups is, of course, partnership, friends, and a group, but it can also be a third party being involved in a relationship. So that, that might actually be the um, issue that was with these control and codependency things that you might have felt um, locked in a situation where there was a third party coming in in your relationship and that that has hurt you immensely in the past okay so that might be significant for some of you is what I, i'm just seeing you know different things so i just have to tell what i see here okay so what they are encouraging you to do though no matter what your history is um you might be in a relationship right now or you might not be in a relationship but what they are saying no matter what is that they're encouraging you to make those plans for the future they are saying go ahead make the romantic gesture, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You see that? These two messages right here. So so this tells me that they are they are telling you to trust that things get better. That you know you have to put the past behind you. Don't let the past kind of control where you are headed in the future. Don't let it stop you from having a good relationship whether you are in a relationship right now or whether you are looking for a relationship in the future. So this is a choice that you kind of have to make. Like this card right here says, you have to move away from the old and turn your boat towards something new in the future and trust that in the future things will be different. There might, of course, be some wounds that you need to feel through and that's fine, you know, you do that. But from my perspective, from what, from what I see here, is that they're encouraging you to trust in a long-haul relationship here. So if you are in a relationship already, they're trying to tell you that this is a relationship that you can actually trust and that you can plan for the long haul, okay? That's what I feel with that. Now, I am going to pull some extra cards here from two other smaller decks that might give you some more insight. Let's see. Pull two from these here. Catastrophe, yeah, that's what it was for you. It felt like a catastrophe. So I have a feeling that you have been going through something really heavy here before when it comes to relationships. It can be, of course, family related. It can be friends. It can be partnerships. It can be love, you know, uh, but I definitely see that you have been severely hurt in the past. No question about that. Yeah. This is the haunted house. And as I said, don't let it haunt your future because they are encouraging you to move forward with plans here. And so what they're telling me here is that you're kind of letting the past haunt your present. Okay? And that's not going to go over well in any way, shape, or form. Okay? That's not going to help you at all moving forward. You have to start trusting in good relations again, in, the, in love, in receiving, and, and that it's possible to have good relations with people in the future and that the past doesn't have to repeat itself, okay? So let's see what these cards have to tell you. Letting go, yes. So interesting when the cards kind of all come together. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it is the first step toward success. Sacral chakra might need healing here and carnelian might be a crystal that you can use, okay? So sacral chakra. So sacral chakra is also with the passion, 
Okay, that's where the passion lies. So sacral chakra is, of course, between the solar plexus and the base chakra. So it's kind of over the uterus uh, area for women and, of course, in the same area for men as well. So it's about going in there. There might be something in there that needs some more attention and some healing, maybe. So if you sink down and imagine that you, uh, you breathe the universal energy into your sacral chakra, that might help you to release and let go of whatever... It is that you need to let go of so you can move forward, okay? So that was one card. Let's see what we have more here. Strength. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. So root chakra and smoky quartz, yeah. Now it's fun that, you, of course, you chose the smoky quartz here and that they say that smoky quartz is actually going to help you moving forward. So root uh, chakra, of course, is... A lot about your um, ground pillars in life so there might actually also be some wounds from from childhood and from family here is what I feel uh, but they are saying that you do have the strength within you and the strength comes from the root of your being so the root of your soul uh, but also I see the energy of the earth from Gaia coming up you know, uh, through your feet and up into your body. So you might want to use that as a meditation where you sink down and then you imagine that the energy from, from uh, the earth sucks up into your body, okay? And especially into your root and your sacral chakra is what I see here, okay? So I do see that you have been through quite a bit, but I also see that they are telling you that things will be better moving forward. They are inviting you to plan for the future, okay? And this card here of uh, Three of Cups can also be a celebration card. It can be a card of coming together. It can be friends that want to support. It can be a community that uh, want to help you. It can be um, a trauma therapist. You never know. It can be a, a group session like that. So there is some sort of grouping or some sort of friendship or, or maybe family that can also help you moving forward. And remember all the good relationships that you have in your life and kind of strengthen them and let go of the past bad relationships like from the past and move forward into better shores. And what they're also saying with the Ace of Cups is that emotions run over, but also abundance. So this is also a promise of abundance, okay? So from my perspective, saying that this is, of course, your main theme for your reading, it's a decision to put the past behind you and plan for the future, okay? So I think that's mostly what I have for you, number two. I hope this made sense. If you like my reading, please give it a thumbs up so it helps me with the algorithms on YouTube and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and I wish you the very best moving forward. I know that uh, past trauma and hurt is never easy to deal with. And so I wish you the very best moving forward and dealing with that. And I hope to see you in my next reading. I try to put one out every week and maybe also more in the future. So I hope to see you and I wish you the very best number two. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to remove these, which was part of the number two reading. And then we're going to move over to number three. Right there. Okay. Okay, number three, so if you chose this rose quartz, then this is the reading for you. Rose quartz for me is the heart healing crystal number one. <laughs> I really love this crystal. It, it has such nice and soothing energies for me. I really use this a lot when I have a heartache or in general healing of the entire body actually, but a lot about the heart, of course. People use crystals for different things, but at least that's what I use the rose quartz for. So I'll put it over here so it will be part of your reading. And then we will look at this card, which is the main theme of your reading. And then we will pull the other cards that we need throughout. Okay, so let's look at it. Homeward Traveler. 
completion, reunion, and return. Okay, that's interesting within the relationship love reading. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the tarot. I'm going to pull three tarot cards for you. I have pre-shuffled, so I don't have to shuffle too much before I pull. Let's see what you get. Six of Swords. Six of Cups. And Judgment. Bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands. Okay. I'm also going to pull two of these romantic cards here. See what you get. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And give your relationship a change. Work on your partnership. And of course, this can also be adjusted if you don't have a partner, but I will get into that. And of course, then we're going to do the love story oracle. Let's see what you get here. Two cards from that too. Okay. Control. Okay. Fun. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let me just have... Um moment to sink into these cards here to see what where they're going with this okay yeah no what i feel and what i hear when uh, from my guides when i tap into this this is about completing a journey yes but it's also returning to um, how can I put this? I have a feeling that you feel like you have lost part of yourself, lost something in the past. Um, it might be a person, but it also might be yourself that you feel like you lost part of yourself. Um, maybe because you got hurt by something that kind of somebody took a piece of your heart and it's stuck there, <laughs> if you will. Um, uh, but it, it also about, coming full closure with something okay so it's about closure on something and it is about letting go of the control of, of the need to control the situation and play more it's about getting out of the ego actually a lot so um i can i can tell you let's just remove these for a little while the six of swords is of course where you move away from something that you don't want and then you move towards something that you do want it's about finding better shores and the six of cups it's about the past or it's about melancholy and judgment is of course about a wake-up call a message from spirit but it can also be judgment as is as in the word says where you're feeling judged or if you are judging someone else now the ace of wands is of course passion uh, uh, new ideas or something offered to you okay so that, that's kind of just the explanation of these cards but when I see them all together I have a feeling that you need to move away from the ego space you need to move away from whatever it is that you feel that was lost and move over to better shores move over to the fun move over to the joy I have a feeling that you're kind of stuck in something here, okay? So that, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Just have to get it out. Yeah, so it's about returning to the joy, returning to the fun. Um, getting back on the in the saddle is what I hear, okay? But there is something that is needed to be left in the past, though. Because the past card is getting up here. And that might be the wake-up call that you need that you know, listen, it's time to let this go now. And also stop trying to control where things are going to go. It will go where it's meant to go. If you try to control the situation, 
that's when you're stuck. That's when it's just, you're stuck in the past, you're stuck in the past, you're stuck in the past. So then you are not able to take in this new passion that's coming for you, okay? Now, it says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah. Because as long as you're stuck in this circle, you're not going to get there, okay? If you're in a relationship, there might be something uh, of a situation that you have been going through lately uh, in the relationship where you might have been a little bit too controlling or too much in the ego. It's time to let that go. It's time to love yourself. It's time to fill in with the fun, with the sun, with the light and let that go, okay? Um, and, and give yourself permission to just be happy. I have a feeling that you're very mind controlled, that you're very, you know, this is the way it's supposed to be. Don't. <laughs> okay, let that go. Now, give your relationship a chance. No, a chance, what it was to say, not change, which I said earlier, I'm sorry. Work on your partnership. Yeah, so it, exactly. It's It's about... Giving yourself a chance as well here, I feel, because why are you trying to to fit a, a, a round ball into a square hole? Is what I feel. You know, it's it's like you're trying to too hard. It's like you you want things a certain way, and if it doesn't come that way, then you don't want it. Well, it's not going to work that way, okay? You're not going to get where you want to be if you're trying to control everything. They are encouraging you to have fun, let it go. Don't take yourself so seriously, okay? Love is playfulness. Love is where you are in the flow. Lo love is nature. Love is singing, dancing, having fun, you know. So let yourself do that, okay? So I'm going to pull some more cards here from two other decks. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to pull two, two cards from this and two cards from another deck. Let's get some more clarity, okay? Yeah, the ghosts from the past. Exactly. There is something that you have been holding on to, something that you feel like you've lost, uh, that is kind of coming around and around and around. Uh, I think it's time to let it go. And if you're having trouble with it, then ask for help, you know. Um, go to a therapist or a healing session or heal yourself. I mean, sit down and receive the, the light coming into you and move into where it hurts inside of you and see what's there and then feel it through so you can release it because there's no point holding on to this anymore. And I feel like it goes together with the control here as well, the need for control. You have been controlling so much in the past. You're used to doing this. It's just automatically. And so you've have, you're having a, a hard time letting that go. The haunted house, yeah. It's the ghosts of the past. Two of the same cards almost. Wow, okay. So so they're definitely telling you to let it go. It's time, okay? Enough now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> because it is about a completion. You know, you, you can't reach the completion un until you have let that go. So let go of the control. Let go of the past is what they're... Oh, two just puffed out by itself. Okay. They're eager to tell you something. Oop, sorry. Let's see. Fertility. Let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation. Sacral chakra, peach moonstone. So peach moonstone might be another um, crystal that you can use. And they're saying that you need some healing in your sacral chakra. And that's, of course, also related to the passion, which is here. So in order for you to receive this passion coming in, you need to look into the whatever is there in the sacral chakra. And also, of course, wounds from the past and ghosts from the past might also be stuck right there. So sink down and breathe down into your sacral, most definitely. Now, fertility also. Um, let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation. So if you're having problem with fertility, I would say that you definitely need some healing on your sacral chakra and breathing the light down there might help you. But so that might be just uh, significant for some of you that may be trying to get a baby. But in general, let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation because a passion and creation both um, live in the sacral chakra, okay? So if you're going to be able to receive this new passion and kind of complete that journey here, then you need to have some healing on your sacral chakra is what they're saying. 
and they are saying trust. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. Third eye chakra, tourmaline. So tourmaline might also be another crystal that you can use then. And they're also saying to open up your third eye and to let your intuition guide you moving forward, okay? It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge, right? So they might help you. That It might be a message for you that they want to help you uh, with this uh, situation, with the ghost from the past and with your control issues uh, moving forward, that you can ask them to help you and they might show you uh, a way moving forward here, okay? So... Yeah, so what, so definitely what I see here is that as soon as you have kind of let go of this ghost from the past and your need for control, then they are saying that things will definitely uh, move forward for you. There is some passion waiting for you right here, whether you are in a relationship or looking for a new one. And homeward traveler, completion. So it is about, as I said, kind of coming full circle with yourself. And reunion might be significant for some of you. Maybe some of you are going to reu uh, reunion anytime soon. Then this is a message that something might actually happen at that reunion that might be interesting for you. And return, I have a feeling, is about returning to the joy, returning to the love, returning to the trust here, right? And you see all these beautiful um, stars or magical orbs that are in this picture. That for me tells me that they are with you and that they want to help you and that you can call upon them for help moving forward. So they are definitely part of your life and they want to help you move away from this old and into the new where you find this passion. So this card here as well, the judgment card, can also be an invitation to listen more to them. Okay, because it is kind of a wake up call and you see this is kind of the representation for your guides or for the angels that uh, want to to help you. And, and this is you looking up, listening, seeing, understanding. So I do have a feeling that there is a, a really big invitation for you to to let them uh, help you through whatever this is with your uh, love and relationship, passion, partnership moving forward. So give yourself a chance, give the relationship a chance. If you're in a relationship right now, it might just be the healing part that's needed here with your sacral chakra in order for that relationship to actually flourish and become a lot better for you. And let go. If something happened in that relationship in the past, let it go now, okay? We cannot, if something happened that, you know, where you blame the other person, you cannot continue blaming that person for the rest of your life. You have to let that go. You have to forgive and move on, okay, if, if you got hurt within this relationship, okay? And love yourself, you know, self-respect, that is so, so attractive when somebody has self-respect, when somebody has that trust within themselves and they, they walk with their head high, you know. That is one of the most attractive attributes that we have. So love yourself, give yourself that love and play, you know, as they say here, have fun. Don't take yourself so, con so seriously. Let go of the need for controlling the situation because it will unfold the way it will no matter what. Okay, so it's a matter of accepting it. You are on this journey where you are leaving behind something old and moving over to better shores uh, for something new, right? So play along the way and just allow it to flow uh, to you is what I feel. Okay, well, I, ha I think that's all I had for you. Number three, I wish you the very best moving forward when all with all your endeavors. If you like my reading, please give it a thumbs up to help with the algorithm and subscribe if you haven't. And I will be out with a new reading soon again. Until the next time I see you.